The original Apollo 11 moon landing footage, the clearest view of humanity's first steps on the moon, vanished. A former Air Force sergeant claimed that he was shown photos of a base on the far side of the moon, but information was never made public. And decades before Apollo, over 1,600 German scientists quietly joined the US space program through a secret operation. These are NASA photos that were quietly deleted from the internet. When Apollo 11 first landed on the moon in 1969, the video that millions of people watched on TV was actually a degraded version. The original feed was in something called SSTV, slow scan television, which had way more detail, but it couldn't be broadcast directly. NASA converted it on the fly, and that's the grainy footage we all know. The originals, the clean tapes, were supposed to be stored for safekeeping, but they're gone. In 2006, NASA admitted they couldn't find them. Whole boxes of tapes just vanished. Officially, the explanation is that the reels were probably reused to save money, which is kind of insane when you think about it. This was humanity's first step on the moon, and somebody thought, you know, that's something we could just tape over. Seems kind of far-fetched. So some believe they weren't erased at all, that they were just locked away. I mean, the fact that the best, clearest look at Apollo 11 is missing or just not available to the public, well, it's no surprise it's led to some conspiracies. Back in 2001, a former Air Force sergeant named Carl Wolf went public at a disclosure project on UFOs, saying that in 1965, while working at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia with top secret clearance, he got pulled into something that he never expected. His usual job was fixing machines that processed surveillance photos from Vietnam, but one day he was sent over to a NASA facility on base to help with a problem involving images from the very first lunar orbiter mission. He described the place as this massive hangar filled with, quote, many foreign citizens in civilian clothes accompanied by interpreters. Then another airman casually told him, hey, by the way, we've discovered a base on the backside of the moon. Wolf said he was completely stunned and was like, who, like, what do you mean? The guy then showed him a photo mosaic stitched together from the orbiter images, and Wolf swore that what he saw looked nothing like natural formations, saying there were spherical buildings, there were very tall towers and things that looked somewhat like radar dishes. He said he expected it to be huge news. Every day when I went home I thought, I can't wait to hear about this on the news, he said. But the news never came, and decades later he finally went public with what he saw. Wolf died in 2018 after a bicycle accident. Some said his death was suspicious, but I don't know, I mean why kill the guy over two decades after coming out? But what do you all think? Well, here's a photo I'm sure NASA would love to be scrubbed from the internet. You may not know it, but pictured here are a bunch of rocket scientists, some of which were former members of the Third Reich. After World War II, the US quietly launched something called Operation Paperclip, and it set the stage for the entire space program. Basically, over 1,600 scientists and engineers from Germany were brought into America under the radar. At the time, the public had no idea this was happening. But these were the men who'd been building advanced rockets during the war, and suddenly they were working for the US military and later NASA. The most famous one was Werner von Braun. He ended up becoming the chief architect of the Saturn V rocket, the one that took Apollo astronauts to the moon. The whole thing was done in secrecy, and documents about it were buried for years. When you put that next to claims like Carl Wolf's, I mean, I don't know, if the government was willing to cover up who was building the rockets in the first place, it kinda makes sense to wonder what else they were keeping quiet once we started getting photos back from the moon. Before Apollo, NASA sent lunar orbiter probes in the 60s to scout landing sites. These things snapped high-res photos of the moon, but the actual images were never fully released to the public. Instead, what most people saw were grainy prints. The high-quality scans were sitting on magnetic tapes gathering dust. For decades, NASA didn't bother with them. They were basically forgotten until a group of space enthusiasts came across the tapes and the old machines needed to read them. This became known as the LOIRP project, or Lunar Orbiter Image Recovery Project. It was made up of this ragtag crew working out of an abandoned McDonald's near NASA Ames Research Center in California. They tracked down vintage tape drives, got them working again, and pulled stunning crisp photos off the tapes, way clearer than anything NASA had ever shown. It left a lot of people wondering, well, why NASA never pushed this stuff out themselves? 
Was it just laziness, bureaucracy, or did they not want everything on those tapes to be seen? Whatever the case may be, if not for those fans, these photos probably would have been lost forever. In the late 90s, NASA built a satellite called Discover, originally nicknamed Gorsat because Al Gore pushed for it. The whole idea was simple, but kind of amazing. Put a camera a million miles out in space at a fixed point so it could constantly take full disk images of Earth. I mean, think about that, 24-7 live pictures of our entire planet. But right before launch, the project was shelved. For over a decade, the satellite just sat in storage. Officially, budget cuts and politics killed it, but plenty of people suspected something else, like maybe NASA or the government didn't actually want a permanent eye on the planet. After all, a camera like that could capture strange anomalies in the atmosphere, unusual lights, or unidentified objects crossing near the planet. The satellite eventually did launch in 2015, but by then the hype had kind of faded, and the release of its images was more low-key. You'd think people would be fascinated by daily Earth portraits from space, but most don't even know the Discover satellite exists. The fact it was built in 1998 and then quietly buried in a warehouse for years does raise some questions. Was it politics? Was someone nervous about what a non-stop Earth camera might reveal? In 2000, NASA launched the Image Satellite to study Earth's magnetosphere, the invisible bubble of charged particles surrounding our planet. It was a big deal for space science, and for seven years it worked perfectly, sending back tons of data about solar storms and auroras. Then in 2005, just as it was hitting its stride, NASA lost contact with it. For nearly a decade, people assumed that it was just dead, faded into obscurity. But in 2018, amateur satellite watchers spotted a signal. Turns out Image had somehow powered back up on its own, orbiting quietly for 13 years. NASA quickly swooped in and re-established contact. The weird thing, I mean, for all that time, the satellite had been drifting in space, still recording data. Some NASA engineers joked that Image was like the ultimate lost and found satellite. But conspiracy theorists have had a field day with this. Why did it suddenly reconnect? Was it a glitch or was something in its orbit triggering it. In March of 2020, a Reddit user spotted what looks like a perfectly smooth, pale, white, tic-tac-shaped object on Mars. The post claimed, a tic-tac has been spotted on Mars by the Mars Curiosity rover's mast cams. Check out how it's casting a shadow on the surface. The shape is pretty clean, and it's very egg-like. Some viewers immediately compared it to the infamous tic-tac UFO sightings reported by US Navy pilots. One Redditor wrote, if it is there, we either get high-res images of an alien craft or the weirdest rock formation in the solar system. Someone tell NASA to get back out there. Others were more skeptical, pointing out it could just be, you know, a smooth rock. Still, I mean, that shadow under it really does make it look like it's floating. Pilots like David Fravor described encounters with, quote, solid white smooth with no edges uniformly colored crafts. So could what we're looking at here be one of those now infamous Tic Tac UAPs? Hubble's been snapping incredible images of space since 1990, but some of its photos have quietly disappeared from NASA's archives and no one really explained why. A few of these images had tiny lights or objects, and what's extra weird is that some showed up in the same spot across multiple photos. NASA says it's probably just cosmic rays hitting the sensors, basically random glitches. But when the same glitch keeps popping up in a series of images, I mean, it does seem odd. Amateur astronomers who downloaded the early images noticed entire frames from those sequences were missing later on. The raw data still exists, but only some of it was re-released publicly. So there are gaps people can't easily explain. When people talk about NASA sitting on strange photos, the Saturn hexagon isn't mentioned much, but this is a pretty interesting story. So back in 1980 and 81, both Voyager probes snapped pictures of this massive, perfectly shaped hexagon storm spinning on Saturn's North Pole. And when I say massive, I mean each side of the thing is bigger than Earth's diameter. It's one of the most unnatural looking natural phenomena in our solar system, a six-sided cloud formation rotating around like it was engineered. But oddly, NASA never really hyped those photos back then. They existed, but most people had no clue. The story didn't blow up until the Cassini spacecraft arrived in 2004 and started sending back images. Suddenly, the public was seeing this perfect hexagon in full detail, and people started asking why they'd never heard about it before. 
That's when the accusations started that NASA had quietly buried some of the strangest space photos ever taken, only bringing them out when Cassini made it impossible to ignore. Now, as for why they do that, your guess is as good as mine. This is one of the strangest NASA cover-up stories out there. Mona Lisa is what some people claim to be a mummified alien body discovered on the moon. The whole story ties back to Apollo 20, which supposedly happened in the late 70s after NASA had already shut down the Apollo program officially. According to the theory, this was a secret mission that found something massive on the far side of the moon, a crashed spacecraft. And inside that ship was a body. She was described as looking human, but not quite. She had six fingers, an odd ridge down her forehead, and large, lifeless eyes. She was dead. The crew nicknamed her the Mona Lisa. The claim comes from William Rutledge, who says he was part of the Apollo 20 crew. In 2007, he posted grainy footage online, showing what looks like a mummified figure strapped into some kind of cockpit. NASA's official stance is that Apollo 20 never happened, but for some, this is just another thing NASA has tried to cover up. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts down below. I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, next time. <laughs>